my dearest mother. Thanks be to God, I have arrived safely in South Africa. Since that cold and wet day you bade us farewell in Cardiff, you have been in my thoughts and prayers. Though our voyage from Cardiff was long and very arduous at times, by the mercy of our ever gracious God, my brother James and I are both well. Take comfort, dearest mother, in knowing how warmly the brethren have welcomed us, taking us into their hearts and showing us such love and kindness. We have now started our work to bring many souls to Christ and the Christian Fellowship. Oh, how I wish I could describe to you the joy on the faces of the people in Cape Town who we have led to Christ in the past few weeks. Last week, we experienced our greatest challenge. Near here, at a place called Robin Island, there is a group of people who are in direst need of God's love and comfort. Men and women, more than a thousand in all, confined on the island because they are lepers. We held our first service shortly after we landed and about 200 or so people joined us to hear God's message of love. Some limped, some crawled, some with neither hands nor feet. People so disfigured they seemed scarcely human. But each and every one set aside their pain as they listened to God's message of love. Truly wealth and status have no meaning in this fearful place. Rich and poor, young and old, all live together in sheds made from sheets of corrugated iron. In the summer months they are unbearably hot and the stench of putrefaction lingers over the island. Some are in the early stages of the disease. Sores and lumps cover their bodies, making them a terrible spectacle. Every day they are surrounded by evidence of how their condition will advance, how their noses will crumble and their mouths will swell, their limbs lose power, and ultimately their bodies collapse. No human power can arrest the march of this disease. They are doomed to die in anguish. Hearing their stories, my heart melted with a sense of the great privilege granted me to minister God's glad tidings to these poor outcasts. I am determined, henceforth, to be a regular visitor to the island, to offer what solace I can. I believe this is what God intends for me, and I cannot ignore his call. I know I may not see you again in this life, but please take comfort in knowing I am doing God's work. You must surely agree, there can be no higher call here. Yours, in eternal love.